Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So this is um, a way to explore and encourage your clients to start to really understand where that wheeling of the pelvis comes from. And for some of my students and clients, that's a, that's a hard concept to get just by thinking about the pelvis alone. And so this exercise connects the feet, the leg, to the pelvis in a really nice way. Just know that when you're working with your client, make sure that you're spotting the bar for them here um, because if their foot comes off, up goes the bar. So you want to have, I just have one blue spring, so it's not a lot of spring tension, but I've got one foot on the bar, my opposite knee is bent, and I'm sitting as tall as I can on my sitting bones. Now they could start with a soft knee, again, if this is too extreme, but you want to encourage them to stay in contact with the bar as they start to wheel the pelvis under and back. So the bar and the spring is helping to inject my femur into the back of my pelvis, and then you would encourage them to wheel back up, keeping contact with the bar as they climb back up onto their sitting bones. So cueing the pelvis, cueing the leg to slurp into the back of the joint is helping my pelvis to get that um, feedback of how to roll in both directions. So you could also, if this they need more support, you could have a wedge so that they're not rolling all the way back, but you could also bring this into a roll up um, if you wanted. So it could come all the way from the floor and they climb back up without losing contact with the bar. So just a nice way to explore and encourage that wheel of the pelvis. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.